Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSERV. BIMSERV provides comprehensive BIM and CAD outsourcing services, supporting clients through all stages, from concept to construction. BIMSERV integrates with your design process to form a virtual studio. BIMSERV delivers entire suite of services, from Revit modeling and detailing, to clash detection, quantity takeoff, and 5D modeling. In this tutorial, we learn how to add a dormer window to a sloping roof in Revit. Let's add a dormer window to this existing roof. You need to first start by adding wall. Since the existing roof starts from level 2, let's switch to that level itself. Now, select wall from this build panel and make a U-shaped wall at the bottom center here. I'll now switch to level 3 since the roof starts from this level. Open the roof drop down and select roof by footprint. In the options bar, keep the offset value as 2 feet and the rest parameters as default. I'll select these two walls first since I want the sloping roof to rest on it. Then uncheck the define slope checkbox and click on the remaining wall. You need to have a closed loop to create a roof. Select line tool and draw here. Then click on finish to make the roof. Now switch back to 3D view. As you can see, the walls are not attached to the roof. So select all three walls one after the other by just holding the control key. Then click on attach to top or base and select the roof. The walls and roof is attached now. Once that is done, as you rotate the model a bit, you can see that the dormer roof is not attracted to the main roof as well. So click on the roof, then select join or unjoin roof from this geometry panel. Then first select the edge that needs to be joined and secondly the side of the roof it needs to be joined to. Let's now add a window. Switch to Architecture tab and from the Build panel select Window. Click on the wall to place the default window selection. As you zoom in, you can see through the window that the main roof does not have any dormer opening. Select Dormer from the opening panel and click on the main roof. Once you're in the sketch mode, pick on all three walls and the roof edge one after the other. and show that the lines are in a closed loop. Click on finish once done. Now you can clearly see that the opening has been created. So this way a dormer window is added to an existing wall. You can experiment more with different settings and parameters to create more types. This ends the tutorial on adding dormer window to a sloping roof.